speaking of broken girls, uh, I mean, that was me, the broken girl that self-absorbed would tell you, um, you know, this is not about fame and fortune. My bio even said that for a while, like fame and fortune are fleeting, but making a difference in someone's life lasts for eternity. Like that may be a true statement, but that is not truly how I felt. I really wanted to be famous and I really wanted to be rich. And, um, and in pursuit of those things, I lost myself and narcissism, self-centeredness, you name it. Um, and then my marriage fell apart. And then there was a night when um, a neighbor had brought over. She knew that we were struggling. We were losing our house. He had already moved out. And the money was gone. Somehow it like vanished in a day. It just felt like, wait a minute, we can't pay for gymnastics lessons. We can't pay for piano lessons. We have to cancel the cable and the internet. And uh, yeah. what, 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 you know, just left and right, this domino of it's all, it's all slipping away. And I go to the front porch and there's a basket full of just the bare necessities to make spaghetti, like the noodles, some bread, some sauce, um, a devotional book, and a journal and a card. And it was from a, a neighbor friend of mine that just said, use this journal to write things that you're thankful for. Because I know right now you can only see the things that you're not thankful for. Um, this is you know, my favorite devotional, which is still my favorite devotional, Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. Go mm -hmm. get it if you don't have it. It's the best thing ever. Um, and then everything to make spaghetti because the last thing you need to do with three kids in the middle of all of this is have to worry about going to the grocery store or what's for supper. So here's spaghetti. And I know my friend Laura dropped that off. She physically, I know that. But God took me out for Italian that night. God told mm -hmm. me, I've got this, like even to the point where I'm going to take you to dinner. And me and my three little ducks sat and had Italian and I felt like a queen. I felt this romance for Jesus come in that had not ever been there, that it was like, man, if he cares enough to take care of our dinner tonight, I don't have anything to really be afraid of. And mm -hmm. you know what? Jeremy might not come back, but Jesus isn't going anywhere. <laughs>